Welcome to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast, where we share tips, techniques, and true stories to support you in using the law of attraction and alchemy to create magic and live the life of your dreams. Here's your host, the founder of DailyAlchemy.com, Michelle Martin Dobbins. Hi, it's Michelle Martin Dobbins, and this is the Avengers and Alchemy podcast. And today I want to share a story with you from a long, long time ago, actually before I really got started in um, working with alchemy and the law of attraction. And this is when I was a young school teacher, um, gosh, 22, 23 years old. And I was working in a very poor area as a special needs teacher, and I had some really interesting and quite lovable students, although I didn't always realize how lovable they were. But this is the story of the day I manifested a truckload of watermelon. And yes, I told this story to my children the other day when we were buying watermelon, and they're like, that's an awesome story. You need to tell it to everyone and I'm like it's not I didn't even really think of it as a law of attraction story but in a way it is I had a student in my class and he was quite the character and his name was I'm going to I'm going to change his name just to it's going to rhyme but it's not going to be the same just for privacy's sake even though this was um yeah 22 years ago <laughs> I'm going to call him Johnny Rooster instead of his actual name but his he always went by both names and he referred to himself in um first person Johnny Rooster got new Nikes this weekend or Johnny Rooster is hungry and he was just really fun but we did have some problems with a few things and I was really trying to get his mom to be more involved and help out or help him with stuff that he needed at home because she was kind of an all or nothing one week it one week he would come in with brand new expensive outfit and then like for months he would look like he hadn't bathed so you know I don't know what hardship she was going through but I was really hoping and asking and wanting him to have some support and so one day I got called to the office and to take a phone call from his mother and I will tell you this is a first because she never showed up for any of the parent meetings none of his IEP um, that's their the special program individualized education plan that each student in um, special ed program has to have none of that stuff I had never met this woman and I don't even know if I had actually talked to her on the phone I had sent her messages and letters and notes and things so she calls me and she says Johnny Rooster wants his class to have a truck load full of watermelon I was like okay well that's nice but maybe just would you like to send in a few nope Johnny Rooster wants watermelon a truckload for his class and I was like okay um well that's you know that's really nice and she's like it's on its way be there in 30 minutes bye now so I was like oh my goodness what shit what am I gonna do do here and I went to the principal and like I think there's a truckload of watermelon on the way here and he's like well what does that mean what does that mean I'm like uh, it's apparently being donated to the school to our class um I have no idea what kind of truck it is uh it turned out to be a pickup truck and it was loaded the back heaped full of watermelon gosh I don't know maybe 150 watermelon a lot of watermelon I can't I can't remember as I said 22 years ago it was quite a few watermelon so it got there and we like started rolling them into the cafeteria and putting them out in the back play yard and all of the special needs classes I think there were four of us got together and had a watermelon party and then each of the kids in our class took home a watermelon except for Johnny Rooster who apparently had an endless supply of watermelon his uncle was a farmer and I think almost all the staff members took home one or two and it was it was crazy and it was really fun and at the time I did not think of it obviously I wasn't studying the law of attraction wasn't working on spiritual growth but it's just funny how I had a deep desire for his mother to be there more for him and to be more involved in the school and it's almost like you know sometimes the universe just sends things to you through whatever opening whatever channel is available and she may have not been really available but she did go and do this really special thing for him because he beamed all day long um he was so excited that he had provided watermelons for basically the whole school so it was a really fun day for me at work and a fun story to remember and you know just how our desires 
may not happen exactly the way that we are thinking about them, but um, it did happen. I think it was really close to the end of school year because the watermelons were ready, but um, it was a fun story. And so I encourage you to think back through your life too and think about some of the things that have happened and maybe if some of your thoughts and your feelings and your desires may have brought them on and you didn't even think about it at the time. And I would love to hear any of the fun stories you've had you've had um, now that I've shared my story of manifesting a truckload full of watermelon. <laughs> um, so have a wonderful day. Go create some magic and I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Adventures in Alchemy podcast. Connect with me on thedailyalchemy.com or Facebook at facebook.com slash Michelle Dobbins author. Join us next time for even more magical life tips.